one of the things we have to be aware of is that at the end of the day, our employees are people, right? And, and, and people have different interests and they have different hobbies and they have different things that are important to them. And as we probably discussed in many of the previous episodes, we cannot assume that people are motivated by the same things that we are motivated and what's important to us is also important to them. But what we could do is we're just making sure that we include some of the, what we call to be sometimes small talk or chit chat or or talking about things that are not necessarily related to business. So when you have a one-on-one discussion with your people, if you go directly, like you open your whatever, you know, goal tracking you have, you open your mm-hmm. Excel file and you look, okay, so where were we now? It's it's March. Okay, so in March you should be here. Well, okay, so, well, wait a minute. Like, you don't even care about me. I, you, I'm just, uh, like, one of my friends will say, like, you don't care if there's a monkey, you know, a wise monkey doing this or, or it's a human being. You don't really care about that. But what you could do is you could include a little bit of, and, you know, kind yeah. of social time, right? What I mean by that is to ask them about, for example, uh, if if there is a if this is a Monday, right? On a Monday, you could ask them, you know, what did you do, you know, during the last weekend, right? And and they'll mm-hmm. they'll probably share some things, right? And, and if they share a lot, then you can probably have a lot of hints about what's important to them. If they share a little, that also say, okay, so so they will probably need a little bit more time or more, uh, let's say, close or or more private environment. So for example, if you have a stand up meeting with your team and say, okay. Hello, everyone, you know, uh, you know, happy Monday. How did you spend your weekend? So people will share at different levels, right? Some will go a little bit more in details and, and, and some will just, oh, that was fine, you know, and, and they will not give a lot of details. What you need to do is you have, you need to have one-on-one time with these people that are not comfortable in sharing in the group yeah. and still yeah. ask them a little bit about their, their life. So what, will that, what that tells you, think about this. What did you do during the weekend? Okay, so... They, it tells you about what's important to them. So if someone say, I spend time with my family, okay, so family is important. To them. If they say, I want fishing, okay, so they want to spend time out in the nature. If they say, I was, you know, I, I, I was at a concert or were seeing a movie, whatever, that tells you about things that are important to them because this is not you giving them tasks to do. Weekend is where we actually choose how to spend our time, right? And, and the choices we make about how we spend our time and, and money, you know, when something is important to you, it shows up in your day book and in your checkbook, right? Yeah. Or, or today, yeah. today it shows up in your calendar and in your bank statement, right? Or, on your credit card bill. So, so if something is important to you, you're going to put time to it. So asking about how did they spend the weekend it will give you indications about what's important to them right and mm-hmm. and, and you will find out i find out about some of them, the people i work with that they were actually taking uh you know evening classes because they wanted to develop further and they didn't have they wanted to have a degree to be an engineer because they were not an engineer i didn't know that mm-hmm. i had no clue that they were actually studying after work mm-hmm. and, and it was one of the one of my colleagues i worked with with him in like about three years i didn't know that but we had a chat at once we were in you know in a business trip and we had some you know small chat and i and i learned about that and i but i bet his manager didn't know about it <laughs> right so so asking these kind of questions like what did you do last weekend how you you know what are you looking forward to this summer uh, how would you mm-hmm, go to spend mm-hmm. your vacation and, and these things actually give you really good indications about what it's important to them outside of the of the work. 